Hey everyone, welcome back to Virtualization How To. I'm Brandon Lee, and today we're diving into a super useful tip for all Proxmox users out there. And I know many are thinking about switching from VMware vSphere to an open source solution like Proxmox. However, if you're running Proxmox without a subscription, which is likely the case if you're going to run it inside your home lab, you've probably ran into the issue where you can't access the enterprise repository that comes out of a fresh installation of Proxmox. So in this quick tip, I'm going to show you how to switch your Proxmox VE installation from using the default enterprise repository to the no subscription repository so that you can keep your server updated without needing to pay a subscription. And this is totally legal. It's totally within the terms of use with Proxmox. We're simply going to hit a different repository outside of the enterprise update repository. So we've logged into the web interface of our Proxmox VE server that I've just cleanly installed. And as soon as you log in, you're gonna see the no valid subscription. And that's gonna happen as well when we swap over to the uh, no subscription repository as well. So keep that in mind, we're going to have this no valid subscription pop up. But what we're going to do now, I'm gonna minimize this. We're going to SSH into our Proxmox VE server. And I'm going to show you guys the behavior that you will see if you don't have your repositories changed from the subscription enterprise repositories out of the box. So what we're going to do is an apt get update and apt get upgrade. And I want to say why. And you already notice we're seeing some errors here. Notice what we see, fail to fetch enterprise.proxmox.com. And then it basically says updating from such a repository can't be done securely and is therefore disabled by default. And this is a telltale sign that we are not authenticated to use the enterprise repositories for updating our Proxmox VE server because we have no valid subscription. So what we need to do is edit a couple of files as of Proxmox 8.x. With 7.x, there was a single file that we needed to update. However, in 8.x, we also need to update the Ceph update repository that was not needed in 7.x. So first of all, we're going to edit the first file that uh, we have that we need to update the source. So that is the Etsy apt sources.list.d pve-enterprise.list. So let's actually edit it this time instead of typing it in. And we're going to see what we have out of the box by default. And you notice exactly what we saw in the output. We've got enterprise.proxmox.com, Debian PVE, bookworm pve-enterprise. So what we wanna do is just simply comment that out. And this allows us to leave this entry in this, this specific file so that if we go to a subscription in the future, then we simply can just uncomment this configuration back out. So we need to change though from this line in our file to this line. And I'm going to paste this in. And we're going to see some subtle differences here. First of all, we've got deb HTTP download.proxmox.com slash Debian slash PVE bookworm. And then the part that really is the telltale sign that we're pointing to a no subscription, we've got PVE dash no dash subscription. So this will effectively point our Proxmox system updates to this PVE no subscription repository. So all I'm going to do to finish this out is a control X in nano. So it's going to ask us to confirm the modifications. We're going to type Y, we're going to leave the file as is, and just simply hit enter. Also have the Ceph update repository file that we need to update. Now this file is a different file. So what we're going to do, let me clear out, and we're going to do a nano, and then the Ceph update repository list file is found at Etsy at sources.list.d slash ceph.list. So we're going to edit this file. And once again, we can kind of discern that we're pointed to enterprise since we've got HTTPS enterprise.proxmox.com. And we need to point 
from that particular repository. I'm going to go to the end of that. Actually, let's uh, put our comment in the front. We're going to hit end. I'm going to return down to the next line and I'm going to simply paste in the repository. We can see it's deb http download.proxmox.com debian ceph dash quincy bookworm no subscription. So again, this is pretty intuitive. We can see that this is a no subscription repository that we are modifying our update list file for Ceph 2. And so now all I'm going to do is hit a control X. Once again, like we did our first file, we're going to confirm the save, leave the file name, hit enter. And that's it, as simple as that. We modified two files to effectively pivot from the enterprise update repositories over to the no subscription repositories, which are ideal for a home lab configuration and scenario. So now let's see, without a reboot or anything, let's see if we can now update our Proxmox VE server. So I'm going to just simply do a history command. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to paste it in. So let's see what happens when we run our update and upgrade commands. And it's looking much more promising this time. We've got activity. I don't see any errors. And we're seeing that our Proxmox host is able to hit the repository updates as needed. And it's pulling those down. As you guys can see, we have a successful update of our Proxmox VE server. Well, thanks for watching this quick tip on virtualization how to. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow tech enthusiasts, home labbers, don't forget to subscribe for more virtualization insights and tutorials, as well as a lot of great home lab content that we have coming your way. If you have questions or even tips, drop them in the comments below. Well, until next time, stay safe, keep on home labbing, and I will see you guys in the next video.